Hi everyone, Silver Joker here. Now listen, there are three things that I believe is fundamental for anyone who is considering stacking physical silver or things to keep in mind if you're already stacking physical silver. And that is understand what physical silver is and how it is valued, which is very important. I think a lot of people really don't understand that. Understand what physical silver can do for you and what you expect realistically for silver to do for you. The last thing is one of the most important things that you need to ask yourself. There's just two questions, and those two questions will determine without a doubt if stacking physical silver is for you. So if you're interested in any of that, stick around. All right, so let's get right into this. Okay, so these are the three things that I believe you should consider before you start stacking physical silver. And the first is important to understand what physical silver is and how it's valued. I think there's a lot of misconceptions in that, especially with the new stackers. And because physical silver is different from ETFs or paper silver investments, it's priced by the individual seller and not by the market or spot price. I mean, you can't walk into your local corn store and say, you know, spot price of silver is $22.50. That's what I want to pay for my ounce of silver. You know, that doesn't work that way. And the same goes when you're selling your physical silver. I mean, you and the person buying your silver will determine the price and it probably won't be spot price. Um, spot price is not the value of your physical silver. The paper price is not the value of your silver. You'll be charged a premium when you're buying physical silver, but you probably won't be able to charge a premium when you sell it. And I know that sounds so unfair, but that's just the way it is. You need to understand that if you're gonna get into stacking physical silver. If you're looking to profit from buying physical silver, it will most likely come from the slow gains in price over time, right? Any profit is gonna come from selling for a price greater than what you paid for it. And that's gonna come over time. If you're buying silver for a immediate profit, you're gonna be disappointed because silver does not work that way. Physical silver does not work that way. And unless you're buying numismatic silver coins where most of them have a documented and accepted price, I mean, they got books and lists and all that, your physical silver that you buy from your local coin store or online will be valued by what you're willing to accept for it. So in other words, if you pay $25.75 for an ounce of silver, then you're probably not gonna accept anything lower than that, no matter where spot price is, right? Because that's your value of your silver. So it's not determined by spot price. The value of your silver, the silver that you buy and put into your stack is determined by you. Now, can you get the prices that you want for your physical silver? Well, in a perfect world, yes, but that's not always the case. But here's the here's the rub, and a lot of people, a lot of people miss this. You don't have to sell your silver under normal circumstances for the price that's out there at the time. That is your decision. So your silver is not worth what spot price says it is or what the online bullion dealers are saying it is. It's only worth that if you accept that for it. I mean, your silver is not, the value of your silver is not determined by anybody else but you because you don't have to accept what they're offering. Now, see, that is the beauty of long-term stacking and also why it's not for everyone. It takes discipline and it takes patience to wait for a favorable time for you when you're ready to sell some of your silver, when you're ready to turn some of your silver into fiat currency for the price that you determine is right for you. So the second thing you need to consider before you start stacking physical silver is another one of those misunderstanding kind of things in the silver stacking community. And that is understand what physical silver is meant to do for you. But let's talk about what physical silver is not meant to do for you first. Unlike ETFs like the SLV, physical silver is not meant to be an active investment or a source of cash flow. 
You know, I talk about what it takes to buy into silver stocks in previous videos. But suffice to say, most individuals who invest won't have access to the physical silver that they're invested in. You know, and I'll leave a link to that video in the description where I show you guys why this is so. So the next thing that physical silver is not meant to do for you, and that is silver is not gonna make you rich. Now listen, as long as there is a spot price or there is a controllable baseline price by the market for physical silver that is widely accepted by everyone, silver will never reach a price point sufficient to make the average stacker rich. It's just not gonna happen as long as the silver spot price is accepted as the value of your silver. Now, if you got 800,000 ounces of silver, then, you know, maybe, but just the average stacker like you and I, it'll never happen. Not as long as there's a manipulated spot price. Just can't happen. Now that is strictly my opinion. All right, so what can silver do for you? What is silver meant to do for you and to be for you? Okay, well, for one thing, it's physical. And therefore, silver is a tangible asset. You can touch it, hold it, it's yours, it's in your possession. And there are lots of things that are considered wealth. You know, cash, bonds, and other financial products. You know, these are all accepted forms of wealth. But y'all know, to me, they are all essentially steal digital promissory notes. And for that reason, they are all vulnerable to depreciation due to the actions of printing money. I mean, that's just as simple as that. A troy ounce of silver bullion, on the other hand, as far as I'm concerned, is a finite tangible asset. That means that it isn't likely to completely crash because of its inherent real value. Silver is always going to have value because it is silver. It, it supersedes whatever promissory notes that are created by whatever bank or government. And because of this fact, physical silver can act as a hedge against inflation. Because look at it like this. It's a tangible asset with inherent value, which means that because it's silver, it's going to have value. And since silver has a limited supply, they can't create it. It has to be mined out of the ground and there's a cost to produce it. Because it can't be printed into oblivion, it is gonna be immune from the inflationary pressure that the currency is going to experience. We're gonna need those dollars. We talked about this before. You're gonna need those dollars, but having physical silver is gonna give you access to more of those dollars, which is what you're gonna need. The things are gonna cost more dollars which gives us a hedge because it's gonna cost more to make that silver today. Therefore, the silver is gonna cost more today than what it cost us to buy it five years ago. That's the hedge. I mean, it's as simple as that. And silver will provide that no matter where the dollar goes. That's a guarantee. It is the promise fulfilled. All right, the third and last thing that I wanna share with you guys, if you're still with me, if you understand all that I've presented so far and you're still looking to start stacking physical silver, then as far as I'm concerned, this is the most important question to ask yourself. And that is, can you stack it? Can I stack physical silver? Okay, so what do I mean by that? Look, when I talk to family members and friends who approach me about starting their own silver stack, I first ask them two simple questions. The first one is, do you have a savings account? Simple as that. Yes or no answer. And the next question I asked him is, when was the last time you had to go into your savings account to do anything but make a deposit? Now that's important, and here's why. A lot of first time stackers don't realize that sometimes it's just as hard not to buy physical silver as it is to buy it. You know, if you're spending money that you can't afford to spend, for physical silver, then you could be forced due to unforeseen circumstances, emergencies or whatever, to go into your stack before you're ready and take a financial hit for doing so. Take a loss on your silver for doing so. So if you have a savings account, which everyone should have as far as I'm concerned, and you're having to withdraw cash from it, then you might need to think about some things before you start a stack. 
because I see silver, physical silver, as savings. And just like your savings account, it is meant to be a long-term endeavor. It's meant to sit and just benefit you over time, not something to be utilized often because especially with physical silver, you will probably end up taking a loss if you turn around and sell your silver as soon as you stack it, as soon as you put it in your stack. I mean, if you can't put your physical silver away and hold it until you're ready to use it for whatever you want to use it for and not emergencies, then maybe stacking silver isn't for you right now. You know, it takes discipline and patience to stack silver in a way that's going to benefit you. You know, and I had to learn that the hard way. <laughs> All right, so I've talked a lot. This is a lot longer video than you guys are used to getting from me. But these things, I believe, are fundamental to stacking and maintaining a stack that's going to benefit you. And that is understand what physical silver is and how it is uh, valued. That's important. Understand where the value comes from before you buy physical silver so you not have unrealistic expectations of what it can do. Understand what physical silver can do for you what it's meant to do for you and then how that fits what you expect silver to do for you and do you have the financial discipline to maintain a physical stack of silver in a way that's beneficial for your financial health that's important because if you can't keep it without going into it and taking a loss after you buy it then it's not going to benefit you financially it's going to be a financial burden on you but you do it your way you do silver the way you feel is right for you who am i to tell you how to do it these are just my opinions anyway appreciate you guys stopping by more good content coming up I'm going to talk to my local corn store owners we're going to buy some more silver and we're just going to keep the silver train rolling keep stacking